Hey everybody, thanks for checking out Project One Gaming. Uh, I wanted to show off some of the Chaos models that I'm working on for this uh, big Chaos build. Decided to not call it World Eaters anymore. Um, that is because I thought of a different conversion for the Demon Prince and it doesn't really fit World Eaters uh, feel. So <clears throat> if you guys saw the bit slots that I did, I managed to remove the head and axe off the Demon Prince body and put that up for grabs if anybody was looking for a corn type um, Demon Prince. But uh, the colors that I'm going with on this one, is it, it's earthy. Um, I, I kind of like the earthy looks. I feel like uh, bright colors are cool for some armies, but it's just not my thing. So the color that I'm going for is a, a, a deeper gray, and it sounds weird, I know, but it's kind of got a couple brownish highlights to it. And also the, um, the metal, like uh, iconography and stuff like that, will all be in a uh, like a bolt metal kind of color. So it all really flows well, it's easy on the eyes, and, and I dig that. So <clears throat> this is the uh, Fortune I've been working on. As you can see, did a little converting, magnetize, excuse my hands, magnetize those brackets so the weapons come on and off. Have both sets. And get in, there we are. So it's kind of like he's pointing in one direction, like looking that way. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, currently working on pretty much grouping the uh, the coils together or the, the lashes or whatever you wanna, whips, coils, I, I don't know what you wanna call them, I don't know what they're called, but it's to uh, have this be the other type of, I think it's a Waller theme. I'm still trying to get used to some of these new Chaos models, but uh, I'm gonna magnetize those so they sit up there on those brackets too, so they can be used as whatever. So there's gonna be two of those guys in the army. Um, the second one's unassembled currently. There's that guy. And I'm gonna have to hold him. But this is, Woo, zoom out, here we go. My Hell Drake. So it's gonna be sitting up like this rather than the flying pose. Sorry about this. I I got really excited and I wanted to show you guys. Um and it's not on its stand yet. I know you can't really tell, but if you look into its mouth, I used a dreadnought flamer instead of the other one to kind of give it a different profile. Okay, now, this model I'm most excited about. This is the new uh, Chaos uh, Demon Prince that I am working on. Boom. Gonna have to hold him, he's a little top heavy. So let me zoom in on him and then I'll, I'll zoom back up. So yes, the green stuff is a little rough on the top. <clears throat> it needs to get smoothed out, but I had to build it up a little bit. Um, you can see it in the wing area. So basically, uh, cut off his horns, patched it up a little and gave him one horn, kind of like a, a rhino from uh, Spider-Man type look. So basically that's what we did there. Posed him so it looks like he uh, is kind of Zoom out a little bit more. <clears throat> Running and and swinging his uh, this is the black mace. So he's getting ready to swing that, and you know he can just jump right up into flying mode. So as far as the black mace goes, what we used was a Skaven um, plate furnace. Just <clears throat> literally just that belt. <laughs> or excuse me, just that bit, just bought the whole thing for that bit. But luckily I, I turned it for a, somebody got a, an amazing deal on the build. Um, if they were gonna use that as a uh, bell, screaming bell or whatever it's called. But um, but yeah, I love this bit. I uh, can't wait to have it painted up. 
and you know get some uh, OSL or uh, OLS, however you want to call it. But uh, get some glow effect. There you go. <laughs> like he's swinging and hammering down on somebody. Um, the mace itself, like the handle, basically. Um, it's not complete. I'm trying to think of what I want to add to some, uh, give it some more depth and detail. But that handle is a sprue. It's just a piece of sprue carved up to look more uh, wooden. Um, going to the back, I patched up the original holes where the back pieces would go, stretched out and um, rebent the tail so it was more straight. And these wings are uh, high tire wings. And they are just massive. Oh, it's just so awesome. But compared to a, a normal set of wings, and I'm gonna set him down so we can do a little quick comparison. Those wings. Yes, big difference. So it's just gonna be such a sweet model to put on the field, so. I'm trying to convince the good war boss Tay to do this model up for me. So, if that happens, oh my god, it's going to look amazing. But yeah, leave me some comments about what you guys think um, I should do with the mace here on the, the handle. I got the chain wrapped up. I was thinking about adding some skulls, uh, you know, to add to the, the corn feel. Maybe some ribbons. Something like that, so... But uh, yeah, that's basically it. More parts are incoming. Um, there's gonna be about, uh, let's see, off the top of my head, 30 cultists, there's 40 marines. They're split into half. Um, 20 are close combat. The other 20 have bolters, flamers, and plasma. Um, another Haldrake, another Forge Fiend. Um, I'm gonna be doing a big conversion for a uh, corn lord on a uh, juggernaut and also convert, uh, converting uh, to uh, hell brutes so those are all incoming as well so stay tuned for this chaos build um, I don't have a name for it so it's just chaos build 2013 until I can think of a cool name and that's about it hope you guys like it leave me some comments and uh, if you guys are interested in having any work done, please email us at projectonegaming at gmail.com. Thanks, guys.